In this motion graphics video, we're gonna take a look at creating single shape animations to help enhance your work. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So we've done a handful of accent motion graphic tutorials in the past, a lot of them going in depth on creating, you know, multi shapes and cool animations. But in this video, I wanna talk about creating easy, simple animations that can really help spruce up your motion graphic work because sometimes creating simple and clean graphics can look great. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at three single shape animations. And before we jump into the video, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial. So here we are inside of our After Effects composition. And the first technique we're gonna talk about is doing a rectangle animation. So we come here to the tools at the top and grab the rectangle tool. And let's click the word fill here at the top and set it to none. Click okay, click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click okay. And you can change the stroke width here at the top. And simply we're gonna hold down shift on our keyboard and just draw out a perfect rectangle like this. And you know, nice and small is good and we can adjust the stroke width as we see fit. So I'll leave it right there. Then what I wanna do here is come here to the shape layer, go to add, and I'm gonna to wanna to add a trim pass. So we're gonna animate this as a line, kind of like a snake eating its own tail. So what we'll do here is open up trim paths and we will set the start percent all the way to 100%. We'll add a keyframe for it and we'll move forward maybe to a second and set it down to 0%. So now we just have the line animating and then we'll kind of go to maybe closer to the half a second point, add a keyframe for end, and we'll move to a second and a half and set the end percent to 0%. And now our rectangle will animate on like this, and it's a cool little you know shape animation. And that's simply what we'll do with our rectangle. And obviously the shape by itself doesn't look that good. So what we can do here is go to edit, duplicate, and we'll duplicate this rectangle. Grab the selection tool and we can just move this around, duplicate it again, you know, move it around, and, and we can simply just add a bunch of these duplicates around our composition. And we'll come here to the timeline and we can just randomly offset these um, you know, so they come on at different times and it looks pretty cool. So now with our animated rectangles, here's our composition and it adds just a little bit more detail to our you know, title and our background. So we'll go ahead and talk about two other techniques and if, we've done, and if we're done with this, we can go ahead and grab all of our rectangle layers, go to layer, uh, pre-compose, call it rectangle. And I'll keep everything nice and clean. So, so for our next single shape technique, we're going to talk about creating a circle. So we'll come here and we'll grab the ellipse tool. And simply we'll come here, draw out a perfect circle like this. And make sure this layer is selected. We can click on the word fill. And click on solid color. Click on the word stroke. And we'll set this to none. And from here what we'll do is we'll want to animate this circle. So let's come here to the ellipse one. Open up the transform ellipse one. And we'll add a keyframe for scale. And we'll move the keyframe forward in time and we'll set the scale down to 0%. So the circle is just going to do this. Perhaps we'll actually extend this keyframe to a second. And let's go ahead and make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then what we're going to want to do is duplicate our ellipse one. And now we have two ellipses in here. And we'll want to just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And we'll offset the bottom keyframes here by just a few frames. So It'd be like this, so we'll offset it by at least six frames. And you can see those two ellipses are offset there. And then we'll close our shape layer, open it back up, click on the word contents, go to add, and add a merge paths. And the merge paths will be added underneath our ellipses. Then we'll open up merge path one, go to mode, and set it to subtract. So the circle will implode on itself, and that looks really cool. And you gotta make sure that the merge paths is underneath the ellipse one and two, and that there is a fill here. This is where you'll change your color because it's simply just taking the geometry and you know recreating it right here. So just keep that in mind. And then as before, we can easily just duplicate this, move it around our comp. And just like our rectangles, we have our imploding circles placed around our composition and definitely adds a lot more detail to our comp. For our last single shape animation, we're gonna take a look at using the polygon tool right here. And we'll just draw out a small shape like this. And we'll come here to polystar one. Go to Polystar Path 1 and we can change the number of points. I'll set it to 3 because I want a triangle. And you know, there's that. And what I like to do here is go to the Transform Polystar 1 and I want to add a keyframe for scale. Move it forward by a few frames. Set the scale down to 0%. And then I'm gonna move let I'm gonna let it stay up for you know maybe a half a second. Add a keyframe for scale. And I'm gonna animate it out, set it down to 0%. And I'll make all these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on my keyboard. Simply, it's just going to pop in 
and pop out and that's not what I wanted it to do so I want to come here and add a keyframe for rotation and I'm gonna come here to the last keyframe and set it to 1x so it'll kind of spin around and move out and you know that's pretty cool and now with our triangle single shape animations here's what we have looks pretty cool and just a quick idea of all of our animations combining together here is what we have and it definitely adds a lot more overall detail to the overall composition and it's really up to you how you want to in integrate these single shape animations uh, and make them work for your composition. Now of course there's so many different types of accent motion graphics and you know title animations that you can work with. That's why I use one of my favorite packs called Toko which is an extension for After Effects underneath this Motion Bro menu and simply what I can do here is quickly add our title uh, to our compositions. So for example, I'm able to easily preview our title animations or whatever animation that we want and I can apply it within a click. And this one template is added to any composition inside of After Effects and I can easily change the colors uh, and easily change the text and other parameters that are available. And out of the 1350 elements that are in this entire pack, you get one thing called shape elements, which are these pre-made accent motion graphics from single shapes to you know multi shapes. I can quickly you know preview something and then apply it to our composition. And literally within a click, I'm able to add our own accent motion graphics out of hundreds within this one pack. And if you want to learn more about Toko, you can check our links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the full 1350 plus elements inside of this one pack inside of After Effects. So that wraps up our single shape tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.